A Broadway show that's fun for the whole family opens tonight at the Overture Center. Mary Poppins the Musical is in town for an eight-show run. Earlier today, we met two of the actors in the Broadway version of one of the most popular Disney films of all time. Well, welcome to Madison, you guys. Thank you. Opening night, that's very exciting. Yeah. Emily, tell me who you play in the show. I play Mrs. Brill, um, the feisty housekeeper, uh, cook, um, sometimes nanny, you know, to the Banks children in the Banks household. And if you if you know Downton Abbey, we have the same book writer as the show. And uh, it's kind of similar to the character Mrs. Patmore okay. downstairs. Oh. So. That gives you a visual. Yeah, image, very, so. very much a similar energy to her. <laughs> and Blake, how about you? Who do you play? I play Robertson I, who is a character that people probably won't know from the movies because he didn't make his way in. Uh, but he's from the books that were originally written by P.L. Travers, and he's the uh, butler footman in the house. Uh, her uh, dim-witted but <laughs> ever hopeful assistant to do a, a, a job properly, but can't really do it. How, if you're a fan of the movie, how similar is this to the Mary Poppins that we all love? Well, you'll hear all your favorite songs. So any song that you already know that you come into the theater humming, you will hear and see in, you know, three dimensions, which is exciting. Um, and then there are some, some changes uh, to the movie that I think are really interesting. Uh, the play focuses a bit more on the, the family dynamic. You get to learn more about uh, Mr. Banks and Mrs. Banks than you do in the movie. But also you get to learn where the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious came from. You have like the origin story of Supercal, which is, Interesting. which is pretty cool too. Interesting. What has this experience been like for you the past year being with this show? It's been, it's been a roller coaster in the most incredible way. It's just the thing that's really been a cornerstone for me is how incredible the traveling company is. Everyone is just so supportive and kind and understanding and just wonderful with each other. And it's, it's that's such an important thing to have when you're traveling on the road and, uh, in a family unit, essentially. Well, I, people are fascinated by that because you've been together how long doing this show? 13 months now. 13 months traveling all across the country. Mm -hmm. What is that like, city to city? Well, you're really... You're with everyone all the time because mm -hmm. we travel together, we get to the city, we go to sleep. We then <laughs> um, wake up the next day, get ready for the show, do the show, and so we're and then go back to the hotel together and then sightsee during the day mm -hmm. on you know on Wednesday. So like we are always always together. So it's a real family, just like just like your family at home, and you kind of love them 99% of the time, <laughs> yeah. and then sometimes you get a little scrappy, but. Um, it, it's it's really interesting to, to travel with everyone and work with everyone all at the same time. Having been together though for as long as you have been, do you still get butterflies on opening night? Do you still get that, you know, adrenaline rush? For I absolutely night? do. Yeah. Really? Oh my gosh, especially, you know, when you're in a new city every week and, and it's a new space, it's a new energy, there's you know, there's new backstage crew, you're you're just the whole experience for me is new every week and it keeps it exciting and it keeps keeps you wanting to Keep yeah. it fresh and fun. What's the best part of this show for you? Oh, the best part. I mean, I the best part for me, I think, is the music because I I just recently moved into this role and I was in the ensemble prior and I I we we have our step in time number that you recognize from the movie and there's just this feeling that this bubbling excitement that the music stirs up for me that just gives me chills every time because I remember it and it just strikes such a chord in me from my childhood and it just makes the whole thing so exciting and fresh every single time. It's, it's like a dream come true. It is yeah. in a way, yeah. And how about you, Blake? Do you feel the same way? I actually. When, when I first saw the show, before I was in it, I saw the show in New York, and I remember feeling like a sense of wonderment brought back into my life that as adults I think we kind of lose a bit. Um, but I was in the back row, I was in a terrible mood, it was terrible weather, <laughs> just sitting like this. And then halfway through the first number you're just like, I'm six years old again! <laughs> and it's great. And I think our show does a really nice job of bringing wonderment back into people's lives for a bit. And the energy of the, of the company is the most remarkable thing that I think I've seen in a very, very long time. Well, welcome to Madison. Thank, Thank you. you so Break much. Break a leg. Thank, Thank you. you. A wonderful show. Thanks. <laughs> Mary Poppins opens tonight at 7.30. The show runs through Sunday, March 17th at the Overture Center. Call the box office for tickets or check out OvertureCenter.com. I'm anxious to hear the story of where yeah. SuperCal uh, began. Super Cal or, yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> well done.